Hello my friends, it's uh, the 25th of December 2014, Mr Max Bliss. This is just a little follow on video from the, uh, the observations I was making this morning and um, I don't know, half an hour has gone by or something like this and the three thick chemtrails, or actually there's more, it's about five or six, um, they have now spread out and virtually look like a cloud blanket obscuring the sky. Where the sun is, of course, they are. there is something going on there. We can see gravitational waves or electromagnetic f uh, effects in this cloud formation, which looks far from natural. It looks like an artificial cloud bank. It certainly does not look like what we used to see in the sky. This is a new normal. And in the video earlier, I mentioned a man called Oliver Joseph North. He was a fellow of the Royal Society, he was an eminent physicist of his day. He was also a colleague of many other eminent physicists, such as J.J. Thompson, who's an important man, who said in 1910 at a Sheffield symposium that it would only take a modest amount of electricity to alter vast regions of the weather. So 100 years ago, or more than 100 years ago, we've got the eminent physicists of their day talking about how they can control the weather. Oliver Joseph North, his 1905 patent was for directing electromagnetic energy into the atmosphere at different polarities to affect the atmosphere in different ways. Now, they understood by directing positive charge, you could ionize the particles in the atmosphere to make it uh, clear up. Now, if they directed negative energy, you could actually make it rain or create cloud cover. This was understood back in 1905 and there's a patent for a mechanism to control local regional weather using electro directed electromagnetic energies in 1905. So let's imagine how technology has changed in 110 years. Let's imagine they understood what they would be able to do and they were even making patents so they could protect their technology. Think about that my friends. How much has technology moved on in 110 years? If they were already discovering how to do it and the methods with which to do it 110 years ago, what on earth do you think they've managed to do now? Of course they've kept it secret because it's controversial. Controlling the weather, controlling food supply, controlling water supply, controlling nations. It's extremely controversial. And the level of clouds is incredible. It's just speeding up the amount of clouds we're seeing now. Very, very quick. And we've got these chemtrails, chemically induced contrails, with uh, particles that get stimulated in some way that expand out to become this horrific cloud bank, this artificial cloud blanket which is being used as part of a covert climate engineering program to fool the public into believing we have a man-made climate change threat to our planet. The con is to get everyone to agree and submit to Agenda 21, also known as Sustainable Development, and by the way, the new name, since their millennium goals have come to an end in 2015. The new name for Agenda 21, well, the old name will still be there, as will Sustainable Development, but the new name to focus on is the United Nations Post-2015 Agenda. This is just an upgrade, just uh, the next stages of Agenda 21 of Sustainable Development, and this is what this Covert Climate Engineering Programme is all about. It's to create sufficient weather extremes or changes to the climate in order to con the masses, to believe the hype, to live in fear of global warming, which of course every time we've had a historical period of global warming has actually been a boon for mankind, has actually been the best times. So why we're frightened of the best times 
is testament to the power of their propaganda and their lies. Please do all you can to wake up. Look at the skies. Get other people to look at the skies. Look at the incredible artificial clouds that we see that are simply not what we've always known. These are new, new normals. It's time to wake up. Time's running out. Take care. Bye for now.